Section 1, Group 4, Distributing Your Work, theme is Newscast. With Salam Winfrey, Maxwell Zeldovich, Nicholas Helms, Brian West, Paige Weaver, and I'm Derek Theaker. Hi, I'm Salome Winfrey reporting to you today on distributing your work. Joseph Georgi says there's a controversial new film distribution model that's bringing movie premieres to your home today. In case you hadn't noticed, the distribution model for movies is beginning to change. More and more, we're seeing film premieres simultaneously in theaters and on demand. In some cases, we'll even see films released to video on demand services before they even hit the theaters. Joseph said personally, he took notice of the trend this past week when he realized that a number of movies available for purchase through his on-demand service had yet to be released in local theaters. Donald Wilson wrote an article called Keeping the Lights On. The article examines how video on-demand, VOD services, impact the motion picture industry and presents charts on the revenue of films released in 2012. Information is provided on how multiple system operators or cable television providers determine the prices for on-demand motion pictures as well as how smaller film distributions and distributors take advantage of the services. The improving economic conditions of the film industry are also explored. Check the article out when you can. Again, this is Salome Winfrey reporting to you on distributing your work and film distribution. We are currently in the midst of witnessing the quicker-than-you-realize transition from the old process of how films are distributed to the future way. The corporate distribution of films will gradually make way for self-distribution. As the world gets exponentially more web-savvy, and as technology makes media more accessible than ever, the need for big Hollywood to force its product on people becomes less and less necessary. People are able to research and seek out the content they are interested in and the subliminal messages and marketing tie-ins will begin to be nothing more than a waste of budget. Gone will be the day where the middleman and his cut of the profits caused the costs of John Q. Public's entertainment to constantly skyrocket. As video rental stores march on their path to extinction, and cinemas frequently inflating box offices to survive, and video streaming products like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Instant Video and YouTube continue to allow their creators to circumvent the studio system to release, distribute, and market their products, self-distribution will eventually take over as king. Not to mention websites like Kickstarter, which cultivate the entrepreneurial spirit and allow creators to contact and interact with their target market directly, allowing people to decide what product projects they would like to see made and allows the common man to have a more active role in the direction the film industry takes, as opposed to marketing executives force-feeding you vampires and feature-length toy commercials. Today, using the internet is the new way that artists can share and distribute their music all around the world. With emailing, you can easily create a video or a song and email the final company to a producer. That way you don't have to worry about putting it in the mail, risking getting lost or destroyed or not arriving on time. But by using email, a file can be sent from one part of the globe to another within seconds. Just imagine, from Chicago to Tokyo within seconds. Another way you can distribute your work is by using some of the Apple products like iTunes. You can also buy the full album with the iTunes or you can purchase a song for a small price and listen to a sample of the song of your choice. Just type in who you're looking for and their work will come up. 
Social networking is also where you can distribute your work. Facebook is one of the most used social networks in the world today. You can make a music page and upload your band. YouTube has become a very popular site for producers as well to find new talent. Tyler Perry has found a few cast members using YouTube with them singing. If you are in, in it to make money, you can try the VOD method. That stands for Video On Demand. But with this method, you will need to do a lot of marketing to become successful. Some of the online options are Chill.com, Amazon Create Space, Filmbinder.com, and Vimeo.com. Just to name a few. And with today's technology, distributing work is a lot easier than it was in the past. This is Brian West. Thank you.